You rebel scum. You rebel scum. Actually, we're only coming here for one specific thing because there actually is a quest for the other character in this, but not for us. So really, the, the stuff that we need is we're going to collect some Transformer parts. Okay. For dear Ren. Not the parts we want, but parts we'll need eventually. Oh, we have a new design! And all he does is flicker his hand at us. <laughs> He's like the grandpa in every anime. Hi, everybody! <laughs> it's one of those times where I wish we had a webcam in here just so people got what we were doing. <laughs> and there's the moldy... Yeah, the moldy toaster or whatever. Yeah. What, what do we end up calling it? I can't remember. It just said the moldy something. Maybe it's moldy ham. Great, now I'm not going to be able to eat Thanksgiving. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about that. Alright, and unfortunately every chest in here, or every chest in here, if I can talk, is not really an upgrade. So we're only going to stick with the one that we need. And I think we even have a spare escape pipe. Just for this. You were totally not yawning there, right? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Random encounters, random encounters. Why do we get so many random encounters? I don't know, why do we? I don't know, but let's start talking like this the entire time. Why are we talking like Marvin the Martian? I don't know, we just did, and so now I want to do it. Ooh! Apparently Chris got fondled and is almost near death. Yikes. See, boys and girls, this is why you don't fondle. There we go. I will admit, though, the portrait for Chris is a lot better than the other ones we've got. Yeah. It actually feels, he, he feels like a hero. Now Reese just feels like a prince that gets time out to me. <laughs> well, he got time out. I mean, how, how else is he supposed to feel? <laughs> Chris gained the level. He did indeed. And we're going to need him to gain levels because this is going to get hard. Ah! We are so close, and yet the random encounters know it. Yay! We attacked before you did. He is pretty low on health. Yes, yeah, she is. So, Mew, heal yourself. There we go. So all we need is this chest right here. Because the subparts are in it! Yay! And do I have an escape pipe still? No, not on Ren. No, I don't, actually. Oh, we're gonna go all the way back. Unless I'm just checking. Do we have anything like Venus or Ryuga? No. No! It may be that, like, Thea had it. So yes, now we have to go all the way back. Now, people could actually bring up that, you know, you could sell this stuff and... I actually would make the argument that I don't make as much money off of them, and so it's not really in my best interest to do so. And I just realized, the mold thing actually does look like a face if you have it the right way. <laughs> this has been cloud spotting with Dragon Shadow. Almost. We're almost halfway there. We're almost there. I can't do it! I'm too fat! <laughs> oh wow, we got 777 Mazesta, so I should get into my menu and it should be broken, right? Right? No! <laughs> I love how some of the really old RPGs, if you did something like that, it broke the game. <laughs> and so you got like a, a Game Shark code without using a Game Shark.
Can we kill this guy? Yes! And out of the cave we go, almost, until we got attacked. And why did we get attacked? Eh. Ooh. And here is the- No! Ah. like the Hotel California. You can check in, but you can't check out. Alright, so we are out of the Rebel Cave now. So, unfortunately, now we need to make our way back to Divizia. So let's go ahead and do that. Since this is technically like the end game of an RPG, there's going to be a lot of errand running this generation. I'm, I'm just going to let people know right now. Mm-hmm. There's not really much we can do about it. Let's go ahead and get over to that. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk, apparently. Let's give everybody a little bit more of a heal. Not Chris. Ein has spoiled me. There we go. Now to make the long walk. Back to Divisia. Always have an escape pod. Oh, trust me. In, in the next in the next game, we'll have plenty of them. Don't flex your packs at us. <sighs> That's offensive. All right, through. No, dang it. Die, evil star youths! See, even my chair agreed. Because <laughs> it's squeaking. Through this evil forest. And it's evil because of all the freaking random encounters. Almost through the forest, Alex. Almost. Almost there. It came from behind. That's a joke I want to make. But we've made a lot of Star Wars jokes. Yeah. So much so that people are actually, actually do send comments. When's the next Star Wars game? When are you guys going to do it? Soon. Yeah, soon. We have plenty of Star Wars games on the list. Have we decided what which game we're going to do first? I don't think we have. I don't think we have. When we when we have, we will let people know. Cuz there's lots of games that we want to actually do and some of them we can't do just because uh systems are outdated at this point. Which is really sad. No! Evil peck flexing! There we go. We can now go through here. And over here is Divizia! Do I need to say what we're gonna do next? I don't think so. I think nope. everybody knows what we're gonna do next. Hi, Lacus the Third! Lacus the Third! <laughs> there you go. That's what, it, that's what we should have done. <laughs> It's like loop on the third. Like it's the third. Da 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 da. All right, I'm fine now. And this is actually all we need to do in Elysium for the moment. Uh, so now we actually have to make our way back up to the Landon Passage because oh. we're going back to Landon. Are people starting to see a pattern here? A lot of errand running. Back into the dungeon we go! Because nobody thought a straight line would be the greatest thing ever! 
Why they didn't, I don't know. Because the heart of the cards. <laughs> Not sure that applies here. It should. And again, no encounter. So this this is great. You know, we get to make our long walk, but at the same time, it's like, can we be over now? Can, can this walk be over now? Almost there. Do, 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 do. Yes, music gets kind of repetitive in this game. This is the way I think. Yep. We can now get out of here. And out of the castle, we are going now to south to North Divisia, where we can go meet up yet again with, with Lagus the Third. Lagus the Third. Da 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 da. People are just gonna get annoyed with me and just be like, "Why are you singing like that?" Because Lupin the Third. Lupin the Third. I don't know why, but like a while back I got into this weird nostalgia craze where I had to go watch Lupin the Third again. Because mm -hmm. Lupin's fun. Alright, so now that we've done this, it is time for us to leave Elysium for the time. Being... One of the two. And we have to return to Landon. Poison. Yes, poison for Ren. Because, why not? There we go. Do, 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 do. And now I'm missing the cell phone chirp. Again! And the drum beat! Why can't we have the drum beat, Alex? Because we don't have enough people on our party yet. Apparently not. Oh, wow, we're all poisoned. Yep. So we're gonna make it as far as we can. Alright, passage to Landon. This is pretty... Ah! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Bye, Elysium. And no, we're not talking about the Matt Damon movie. Hi, Chun Li. Your <laughs> level ups. Yep, that's helpful. Just as far as we can go. Oh, look, it's the Harpy Ladies again. So are these the ones that are over that are powered up with elegant egotist or That was such a weird card. I seriously don't even remember that. Oh yeah. I remember because every time Harpy every time Mai ever did anything in the series, it was Harpy related. Yes. My it, it was it was one of those things that actually made me kind of happy for her in Battle City, where mm -hmm. she got other women cards. I'm like <laughs> Are you? Do you just have nothing but harpies in there? And then eventually we saw like some really cool uh, female monsters that I could never find in other ways. <laughs> yes, I used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't anymore. I did too. Somebody on, on the comment section is gonna be like, "You're such, you are such nerds." Duh. Yeah. We thought you had gotten the memo by now. Alright. 
This is the one we need. No, that's the that's the original Harpy Lady right there, and then the other ones are the empowered ones. Okay. Because I put way too much thought into this. Yes, yes you have. Oh, Chris is from love. Yep. So guess what, boys and girls? I'm the hero. Oh, dang it. I thought that was going to be an anti-venom. Do I even have? Yes, I do. I have enough for one. Do you have antidotes? Yes, you do. Maybe we'll use one on Mewtwo. Mewtwo, get it? Oh. Everybody in the comments is going to say, this show, this episode was rather punny. Yup. That's what Endgame in a Fantasy Star game does to us. It makes us punny. Alright, now that we are back in Landon. Oh, you're going to love this, Alex. Another lawn dungeon? Nope. We're going back to Tatooine. Oh. Aren't you just so happy? Not really. No. I don't think anybody is. It's so barren and so empty. And Looks sand. like the hub worlds in Sonic Boom. <laughs> so get into get into some details here of of why you hated Sonic Boom so much, because I'm sure people are just like, when you're a Sonic fan, you're supposed to like it. I mean, there were aspects about it that I liked. I liked the whole team-up mechanic, I liked the way everybody kind of worked, I liked the inner beam, but the problem is, it was not only a bad Sonic game, it was also a bad platforming game. Yes, from what I could tell of uh, the gameplay I've seen. It was buggy as can be. Uh, the frame rate is jittery beyond belief. For a next-gen game, that's really sad. Yes. Uh, the game... And even then, like, I don't, you weren't able to try this out, but... Um, if you went multiplayer with oh, it. Oh yeah, the multiplayer aggravates those. Yes, and it actually turns it so it's a non-HD game at that point. Yeah, pretty much. That's because everything looks blocky and almost like it was in not the HD generation, but like two generations back. Yeah, it's like PlayStation era, man. I, I, I actually looked at some of the things and I'm like, oh my gosh, is, is Tails political? Tails is polygonal! <laughs> He's got polygons right there. This is PlayStation era right there. Yeah. Big red button. What the heck? Uh, I thought the tech was there. Apparently, I was wrong. So, uh, the game really likes to emphasize exploration. The problem is it doesn't really give you much incentive or reward. I mean, it kind of does, but at the same time, so much of the reward is so bland. It's like... Oh, you explore, you find more rings, but you'll almost always have a hundred rings. Mm-hmm. Because it kind of the rings in this game kind of act like a life bar instead of just stuff to collect to keep you alive. But yes. there's so many rings, rings are so plentiful that you'll never run out, really, even when you die. And and here's the here's the part that's going to make you so happy. You can actually increase the cap. But you gotta have 3D uh, at the Sonic Boom 3DS game. Oh. Uh, Oh my god. You know, at that point, I agree with Pro Jared's assessment of that. It's Paygate, is what that is. Yes. You want to have this, you got to pay. You might as well have just done microtransactions in the game, because yeah. that's what it is. And I'd have no problem if you were being honest about it. Yes, there's microtransactions in the game, but they weren't. Yeah, I don't think Big Red Button's gonna get another shot. I hope not. In fact, I'm not even sure Big Red Button deserves to be in business now. <laughs> Which is sad because it's Naughty Dog people! Or at least there are some Naughty Dog people. Yeah, that's what. That's kind of what I looked into. I looked at about some of the staff behind it, and well, okay. So the, the company's CEO and the game's director, and slash executive producer, he was an art director at Naughty Dog. Yes. Uh, I, I don't want to knock on the art artist. I don't want to knock artists, but... Ooh, look, new design! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we had an ADD moment. Go ahead. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, necessarily knock, knock art department people, but that seems like such a weird jump to go from being an art director, which would be in charge of all the backgrounds and scenery, to... Almost like he should have 
to get actually, more prepared. Yeah, to actually, like, trying to direct a game. I mean, maybe just because I assume video games require a lot more technical knowledge. Right? It's, I mean, it seems decent enough. Well, you, you need to at least know how each department is going to work and yeah. all that. Now, if he was just an art director, he may know one side of it, but he might not know the other. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the sad part of it. But, yeah, I mean, everything that I've seen on Sonic Boom disappoints me. Yeah. And you know what? If <clears throat> I think it was Aldo that brought this up on Geek News for us. It was Nintendo that was mostly behind Lost World. I don't even... I don't think so, really. I don't see much Nintendo in... But if that's the that. case, then maybe they should be. Because <laughs> Lost World is a good game as far as I'm concerned. I think people assume that... Nintendo I think people are getting that just because Lost World's kind of a Mario Galaxy clone. There's really no hiding it, it is. What's the... Oh, it runs dead. What's wrong with it being that? What What's wrong with it being a Mario Galaxy clone? Yeah. Mario Galaxy works. Yeah, but Mario Galaxy works for Mario, for Mario, but it feels weird when Sonic games try to rip off Mario games. I liked it. I thought it was a return to... to roots it's i don't think i didn't find lost world bad i just found it a little bland for my liking but no no, no i i i get it uh, mostly because i'm still kind of the this, the old holdout i still want a return to the old adventure style you know, with the, and do... yet you got a return to the adventure style <laughs> you just didn't like what you got yeah i mean sonic 06 notwithstanding Oh, I was going to bring up Boom, I mean, because they tried to put in a hub world and there's boom. nothing in it. Uh, that's about the only adventure aspect in Boom, really, It's the hub world. And I hate hub worlds, period. I don't like hub worlds in Sonic games. I didn't... Station Square's alright, but the only reason I, th I tolerate Station Square or the Mystic Ruins is because they're fairly self-contained. Yes. But... If Sonic 06 and now Sonic Boom have taught me anything, is they make the hub worlds too damn big. Yes. And they make them too hard to get from point A oh, to point Oh, I could have told you that uh, from Adventure. Is Adventure 1's hub world is just, they're huge. They don't, like, Station Square feels just about right. I don't think It's they're... a little too big, but mm -hmm. Mystic Ruins, like that whole second section. Yeah, the jungle's a little big and confusing. But, yes. But it's fairly easy to tra traverse. I'd say. The, the Sonic Boom ones were really just, they were confusing, and because you're so slow, it was so boring, and I just lost interest. I kept, you know, the only thing... If there had been more people, then it would... Again, this is Sonic 06's problem. If there had been more people, then it would have made sense, and it would have been okay. Maybe. But Personally, I, I, I still think that it should have been smaller, and I also don't think that Boom should have had a hub world. Yeah, it really should. In fact, again, I say don't do hub worlds in Sonic games. They're not RPGs. You don't need to put hub worlds. No, you can you can do a hub world, but understand the size. Mm -hmm. You know, understand that you don't need this much length to it, or in in some cases just remove them because Sonic Boom: Rise of Lyric actually just could have been a story to get us used to the Sonic Boom universe. That's another thing about the story. The story is so it's so bland and loose. I mean, it's mostly the rehashing of the Villain of the Week, Monster of the Week that Dr. Eggman finds, but... Yeah. It, but they do nothing to, like, establish this whole new world, this whole new continuity. And this would have been the way to do it. You know, and it's like, wow. It's, it's almost like they sat there and went, well, we're gonna we're gonna wait till the uh, TV series does it. But even the TV series doesn't do it. Nope, TV series doesn't have enough time to do it. Yeah. That's the problem. And, there's another complaint I forgot to bring up when I reviewed the game on Geek News, but there, there's no transitions between hub, between hub areas and stages. I don't know what a, there's no title cards, you know? Yeah. There's no titles, there's no acts, there's no maps. It's, well, there is a map. It's almost like they didn't want you to remember the levels. They didn't want you to remember the music in the levels but, or anything like that. Yeah. And that's just disappointing. The game was, was just so bland. Hey, look, it's our middle finger friend. <laughs> yes. We're having some rampant ADD right now, guys, because we're talking Sonic Boom, and 
I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm almost on the fence of calling Sonic Boom as overall a failure, because what Cartoon Network has done with the series, what Big Red Button has done with the games, it's just it's failed. Yeah. It's, the series is okay. I mean, I have fun with the series because of the comedy. And the, I, I mean, I love. Yeah, the but its placement and its time frame yeah. are going to hurt it. I'm, I'm still of the opinion, I'm, I'm wondering whether or not Cartoon Network, like, intentionally sabotaged it. I think Cartoon Network is. I really do. I don't. 